Hello and welcome to uh, another quick update on my channel. Uh, I want to just give you a quick update video. I've been getting a lot of messages from people saying when I'm coming back from creating vlogs and what I've been up to photographically lately. So I thought it was worthwhile just spending a few minutes putting this quick video out. So since, uh, since my last video I've launched my new book which is Capture Lakeland Volume 2 which uh, I launched a pre-order campaign which went very successfully and I've now manufactured the book or published the book and shipped all the pre-orders and there's about a third of the the print run is now sold out so there's a thousand books in the in the print run um, and they've gone all over the world so thank you very much if you've uh, been kind enough to support me with uh, with the purchase of Capture Lakeland Volume 2. Uh, in my, my first book is fully sold out now that was um, just in case you don't know, I produced Capture Lakeland back in 2017, which was uh, 15 years of my landscape photography, predominantly from the English Lake District. Uh, and that sold out a thousand copies during 2018, so that's fantastic news. Uh, and during 2018, I, I wanted to work on creating content for the second book, Volume 2. So whereas Volume 1 was 15 years of my landscape photography, uh, volume 2 is just one year and, and I set myself the challenge of seeing what uh, a one cycle of the seasons could look like in the Lake District for me photographically if you will. So um, that's all encapsulated in uh, Volume 2 and the feedback so far has been absolutely fantastic. So uh, again thank you if you've uh, been kind enough to support me with the purchase of that. Uh, I'll put a link below in the description if you'd like to check out the book and uh, perhaps read some of the reviews for yourself. It's been quite a quite a humbling experience, again, self-publishing a book. I think I will do more videos on the self-publishing of a photography book because I think it's, it's, it's actually a really important process of documenting your journey, if you will, and also making you more critical and more connected with your photography, really. You, you kind of... It, it gives it a meaning as opposed to just randomly going out and looking to capture various scenes. And that's what I find. I think sometimes I get a bit lost because you're like a child in a sweet shop, really. You can be, you know, too, there's too much choice, especially in the Lake District where it is a very relatively small area where you compare it to something like Scotland, for example. I mean, you can drive around it in a day and you could go to many places. So I find it, uh, quite, it can be quite overwhelming at times where you're not sure where to go and... I think by creating the book, it, it it made me be a bit more considered in my approach, if you will. Um, and that's shown in the book, so it's been quite an interesting uh, project. Uh, the other thing I wanted to update you on is my journey into film photography. If you, um, if you looked back on some of my older videos, I documented my journey on 35mm film photography, or my revisiting of 35mm film photography, which was... Uh, something I initially started off in sort of the late 90s and early 2000s before digital was really prominent, if you will. Um, and then in 2017, I, I got back into 35mm film photography. And to be fair, it didn't last that long um, because then I bought the Leica MD, which if you don't, if you know that camera, it, it's a digital camera, but it doesn't have the screen on the back. So you're, you're more likely to, uh, to treat it like... Um, like a film camera because you don't know what you're getting you can't see the screen you know and it's quite an exciting camera to use and uh, though i produced several videos on the Leica MD which again have been really popular videos actually and i get a lot of questions oh what, you know when Leica re released the m10 um md people were or the m10d or whatever it's called people are saying oh are you getting that camera and all the rest of it and i did actually order one or i got offered one from Leica mayfair in london but uh I turned it down actually because I'm just really happy with the MD. It's a great camera, um, and I've created some fabulous images. I've never used it on a tripod. It's just a snapshot camera, really. Uh, but my new book features quite a few images from the Leica MD, and I will do a separate video updating because uh, it must be two years now since I've had that camera. So I'll, I'll do an update video on that one as well, um, as well as obviously the Hasselblad X1D, which I got from about launch time. Uh, again two years ago now time flies by and uh, they're, they're proving still quite popular videos on my channel as well uh, and I've used that camera pretty much exclusively from um, 
2017 it's become my go-to camera really it's absolutely fantastic to use I've got three lenses for it which uh, all prime lenses which are just great and it's it produces absolutely stunning images so I will I will do a separate video on my two-year journey with the Hasselblad X1D so that could be quite interesting if you're considering the medium format digital uh, camera of the Hasselblad X1D uh, so other things I can tell you about just to oh yeah my film journey with the medium format film that's uh, I think I've shot over a hundred rolls now of film um, probably more actually on the the 120 roll film and it's absolutely fantastic that the Hasselblad. I mean, if I was a braver man, I would just use that camera for everything. I, well, not for everything, but for landscapes. It's it's brilliant, and it really makes you consider your approach. Um, slows you down. It's made me a better photographer overall, I think, because it, it's a manual process. It's a manual metering process. There's no meter in the camera, so you, you have to understand light and exposure a lot more than you do when you're a digital camera photographer if if that's a phrase um obviously film reacts a lot differently to digital as well so you have to think differently about that which has been quite an interesting journey but the results you can get from it are absolutely stunning uh, this picture behind me if you can see that that's of my youngest son lewis uh, that is shot on the hasselblad 503 cx and that's a scan straight off the negative, no adjustments at all. And uh, I've recently entered that in the British uh, Journal of Photography, the um, Portrait of the Year competition. I think I'm due the results next month. So that'll be quite good if that gets in the book because uh, I can goad my son with that as he been in a book for people to look at him. But I think that's the best photograph I've ever taken in my life, that one. And regardless of the subject, I think... It's just a beautifully exposed photograph and I think I'm maybe more personally connected to it because I made that, I metered it, I composed it and I, you know, I took it on film and it just seems to mean a bit more than a digital image. So I'll explore that a bit more, show more examples in a future video as well. Uh, I'm conscious as well, I went on two Scottish trips uh, last year, one to Torridon in autumn, which was, uh, it was my first visit to Torridon, it was great. Uh, weather was very challenging let's put it that way um, I will be going again at some point though uh, so that was something worth documenting just to show you guys what I got up to there I predominantly shot film on that trip as well which was interesting um, and then at New Year I went to the Isle of Skye again so uh, I can't remember how many times I've been there now but it's fantastic and I had about three or four days then it was really good so uh, again I'll do a video on that hopefully just to showcase the images um, what I'm also doing is every time I go out with my camera to do a, a landscape photography shoot I do document that on my blog on my website and again I'll put a link to that below and I think last year I did over 120 shoots uh, ideally I'd vlog them all and I'd have an amazing channel rich in really immersive content but the, the truth of the matter is it's really difficult to produce vlogs I think I mean for, for me, just standing here in my living room talking to a camera is easy, but if I'm trying to do that whilst, you know, shooting a landscape, it, I find it quite a challenge. And, you know, respect to all these other guys who managed to pull it off, because for me, it, it's I, I struggle with it. And I find that I spread myself a bit too thin if I try and do more than one thing, if you will. So, you know... The point of going out in the landscape and doing the shoot for me is to create the best image I can create to make prints and sell and that's you know w why I do it really and that and obviously for my own peace of mind and mental health or whatever you want to call it it's like relaxation time so to add in the vlogging process as well is uh, it, it kind of detracts from the enjoyment of that um, shoot if you will Ideally, I'd have a cameraman or a woman who would come along and, and help with that, but whether or not that would be of interest to people, I don't know. But um, So check out my blog anyway. There's a lot of content from the Lake District and a few other places. I went to Cornwall recently, uh, well, back in February, and that was fantastic. Just a short trip again, but I'd love to go back and explore most, more of that coastline because uh, that was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, lots, uh, lots to catch up with. 
uh, lots of getting in the pipeline. I'm going on lots of shoots, about two or three a, a week, really. Um, we're in sort of late May now, so coming into the height of summer soon, um, which is not predominantly great for landscape photography, but I really enjoy summer. I think it's um, it's good for photography if you time your shoots correctly, you know, to the uh, the last sort of hour of the day where it's the nice light. That's the light I really like. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it there for now. And again, thanks for uh, staying subscribed to my channel. Thanks for the new subscribers who have come along recently. It continues to grow slowly, uh, despite the fact that I don't put videos out regularly enough, really. But um, I do still stand by the, the the view that I have that the community on YouTube is a very strong community. You know, there's a, there's a lot of really positive and and um, intelligent individuals who give you some good comments so you know I do uh, read all those and respond so you know th thanks for that and uh, you know let's uh, hope I can get back into it and build the community up again and uh, in the meantime if there's any questions you have about these cameras I'm using or if the shoots are going or the latest strict in general feel free to you know put a comment below and if you want to uh, know anything specifically I'll try my best to answer that for you but um, check out my book as well, uh, Capture Lake and Volume 2, because it's, uh, it's been really popular and uh, I think I'm more so proud of it than book one because um, it's a real true reflection of where I am today with my photography, not the 15 years getting to this place. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's really is something what's well, bang up to date and I worked quite hard last year for it. You know, well, I, worked, I put a lot of effort in last year given uh, the circumstance to try and create something of uh, of interest and it seems to have gone down very well. I mean the weather wasn't great, you know, I didn't have 15 years of choice of weather. It was what it was and it, and it's honest, you know, so hopefully that'll connect with a few of you and uh, you can have a look at that as well. Okay, well thanks for now and uh, I'll try and produce one of these other videos in the in the coming week or so and hopefully I can get back to a regular schedule of producing vlogs. It's uh, engage more and see where we go from there. Alright, thanks for now and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.